What's happening, St. Mark's? It is David Woodford, the Communications and Youth Director here at St. Mark's UMC, and it is another Friday devotional. This one's gonna be a little short. I don't know, sometimes I ramble a little bit, but hopefully we'll keep this one short because it's a holiday weekend. It was just Thanksgiving, so I don't know if you're really inclined to watch a whole big long spiel from me, but I wanted to talk about something that's on my heart. I've been using these episodes, um, if you guys remember back to like the earliest episodes of this series, um, I talked about things that were just like, that applied to me at the moment. And um, when I'm picking the verb, as you all know, this is a series about Christian verbs. As I pick the verb from week to week, I will sometimes pick a verb that I think resonates more with me that week than maybe with another week. Last week we did thankfulness, thanksgiving, giving thanks. Um, it was appropriate because uh, it is going to be thanksgiving. Um, and now we're after Thanksgiving. I'm recording this before Thanksgiving, but we are now in the holiday season, right? The holiday season is weird, uh, this, uh, this particular season. It's odd. And I think that whenever we approach the winter holiday season, it comes in, uh, it comes in three waves, obviously. It's Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then New Year's. And New Year's is always the holiday that we think about the year previous. We sit down and we go, oh man, you remember last year? That was wild. Uh, here's what I wanna do next year. But we also, we spend a lot of time just remembering. And so I wanna tap into that idea, that verb of remembering, remembrance, and I'm gonna call this reflecting. Now there isn't a lot of scripture in the Bible about reflecting. Um, there are a lot of scripture about remembering. So we're gonna go through those. This year, when you reflect back, and I think a lot of us are reflecting earlier than before because some of us are ready for this year to be over. When we reflect back on this year, this year is uh, crazy, it's craziness. There's been a lot of wild stuff that's happened. And it's important for us to look at where we started and where we are now. When we first started this year uh, in, you know, in January, I did not do this. We were not having this conversation. There was no Friday devotional with Dave. We didn't have online services pretty much at all. Um, now, obviously these things were necessitated, but it's also a significant step forward for St. Mark's. And it's something we're gonna continue doing uh, long into the future, hopefully. So, that's a positive step forward. That's something, that's a stride that we've made as a community. Furthermore, when we talk about remembrance or reflecting, oftentimes we're critical of ourselves. And I think that sometimes we can be too critical. The year has been difficult. And I think it's appropriate that we consider the adversarial aspects of this year that we've overcome. And that's what I want to focus on. So before I read the scripture, my main emphasis is just let's work on letting go. Let's reflect on this year and let's work on moving forward. To help us in that process though, we have to reflect. Um, so in Deuteronomy chapter 32, it says this. Do you thus repay the Lord, you foolish and senseless people? He's talking to the Israelites. He says, it is not he, your father, who created you. Is it not he, your father, who created you, who made and established you? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you. Your elders, and they will tell you when the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, when he fixed the borders of the people according to their number of the sons of God. And what this is talking about, this particular section in Deuteronomy, it is talking about um, remembering and reflecting. But specifically, it's asking the elders of your tribe to remind you 
what God has done to give you evidence of God's power. So part of remembering and reflecting is to interact with your community and to reminisce collectively and say, when was God here? When was he present? I think that this is an important aspect of worship and it's an important aspect of community. So when you gather, when you're able to gather, and when you feel it's appropriate to gather, this holiday season, I don't want to sound like a movie trailer, this holiday season, but this holiday season, when you gather, collectively talk about what God did in this year. Deuteronomy says it perfectly. Ask your elders and they will tell you. So young people, talk to the elders and say, where was God? Not just this year, but in years past. And listen to the stories of the people who came before you. This year, at the end, let's reflect and think about where God was. Thank you for joining me this Friday, and I'll see you next week.